Vladimir Komarov, a name etched in the annals of space exploration, not as a triumphant pioneer but as a tragic hero. His story is one of ambition, sacrifice and the unforgiving nature of space. It is a journey into the heart of the Soviet space program, where the lines between courage and recklessness blurred under the weight of political pressure. Komarov was a man of exceptional skill and unwavering dedication. A decorated pilot, he embodied the Soviet ideal of heroism. He was chosen to pilot Soyuz 1, a mission meant to showcase the Soviet Union's dominance in the space race. Little did he know he was stepping into a spacecraft riddled with flaws, a ticking time bomb hurtling towards a tragic destiny. The year was 1967. The Cold War was at its peak, and the battle for supremacy extended beyond Earth's atmosphere. The United States and the Soviet Union were locked in a fierce competition to conquer space. Every launch, every orbit, every spacewalk was a strategic move in this high-stakes game. The Soviet space program, once a beacon of innovation and success, was teetering on the edge of chaos. Sergei Korolev, the visionary chief designer who had spearheaded the Soviet Union's early triumphs in space, was dead. His absence left a void that was impossible to fill. Into this void stepped Vasily Mishin, Korolev's deputy, a capable engineer but lacking Korolev's political acumen and unwavering authority. He inherited a program grappling with increasing pressure from the Kremlin. Premier Leonid Brezhnev, eager for a propaganda victory, demanded a spectacular space mission to overshadow the United States. The eyes of the world were on the Soviet Union, their expectations a heavy burden on Mishin's shoulders. He knew the Soyuz spacecraft was not ready. Test flights had revealed critical design flaws. Yet, he was caught between the fear of failure and the pressure from Brezhnev. It was a no-win situation. The Soyuz program had been plagued with problems from the start. Unmanned test flights had encountered a series of catastrophic failures. Control systems malfunctioned, engines misfired, and capsules spun wildly out of control. These were not isolated incidents, but systemic issues that pointed to fundamental design flaws. Engineers and technicians worked tirelessly, but the pressure to launch was relentless. There was no time for a complete overhaul, only for patchwork solutions and hopeful prayers. Each successful test was met with relief, but the failures loomed large, casting a long shadow over the program. Whispers of the failures circulated among the lower ranks, but fear kept them from reaching the ears of those in power. The consequences of questioning the mission were too great. The Soviet system demanded obedience, not dissent. The launch of Soyuz 1 was a national event. Millions watched on television, their hopes and dreams riding on the shoulders of Vladimir Komarov and his yet-to-be-revealed backup, Yuri Gagarin. The world held its breath as the rocket roared into the sky, carrying with it the aspirations of a nation. Komarov, a seasoned cosmonaut, was acutely aware of the risks. He had voiced his concerns about the spacecraft's safety, but his pleas were met with resistance. The mission was too important, the political stakes too high. He was a soldier, and his duty was to fly. The initial stages of the flight seemed to go smoothly. Soyuz 1 achieved orbit, and Komarov reported that all systems were functioning normally. But beneath the surface, trouble was brewing. The early successes were a cruel illusion, a brief respite before the storm. Section 5. A Cold Dawn, a Fateful Launch As Soyuz 1 circled the Earth, a critical malfunction occurred. One of the spacecraft's two solar panels, crucial for powering the life support and communication systems, failed to deploy. The spacecraft was starved of energy, its systems beginning to fail one by one. Komarov struggled to maintain control as the situation deteriorated. He fought against the failing systems, his calm demeanor a stark contrast to the chaos unfolding around him. He knew the gravity of the situation. He knew that he was in a fight for his life. On Earth, panic gripped the control center. The mission had gone horribly wrong, and they were running out of time to find a solution. The engineers scrambled to come up with a plan, but every option seemed fraught with risk. Section 6. Lost in the Void Communication with Komarov became increasingly erratic. His voice, once clear and steady, now crackled with static and desperation. Every word he uttered was a testament to his courage and his determination to survive. 
He relayed vital information about the malfunctions, providing the engineers with a glimmer of hope. Desperate to save their comrade, they devised a daring plan. They would attempt to guide Komarov back to Earth manually, using the limited power available. It was a long shot, a desperate gamble, but it was their only hope. Komarov, despite facing his own mortality, followed their instructions with unwavering precision. He fought against the dying spacecraft, wrestling it back into some semblance of control. His heroism was awe-inspiring, a testament to the indomitable spirit of a man facing insurmountable odds. Section 7. A Race Against Time For 19 agonizing orbits, Komarov battled the failing Soyuz-1. He fought against the dying spacecraft, his courage never wavering. He knew the odds were stacked against him, but he refused to give up. He had a wife and children waiting for him back on Earth. The engineers worked tirelessly, their eyes glued to the telemetry readings, their hearts pounding in their chests. They guided Komarov through a series of complex maneuvers, each one a small victory against the unforgiving void. As Soyuz-1 re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, there was a glimmer of hope. Komarov had managed to align the spacecraft for landing, but fate, it seemed, had other plans. The final tragic act was about to unfold. Section 8. The Dying Light of Soyuz-1 The Soyuz descent module carrying Komarov plummeted through the atmosphere. It was a fiery, uncontrolled descent, a far cry from the textbook landings of previous missions. The world held its breath, hoping against hope for a miracle. But the miracle never came. The parachutes, designed to slow the capsule's descent, failed to deploy correctly. The capsule, carrying Komarov, slammed into the ground with bone-jarring force. The impact created a crater, a silent testament to the tragedy that had unfolded. The control center fell silent. The telemetry readings flatlined, a chilling confirmation of their worst fears. Vladimir Komarov, the man who had faced the unknown with such bravery, was gone. Section 9, A Hero's Return The Soviet Union mourned the loss of their cosmonaut. Komarov was given a state funeral, his ashes interred in the Kremlin Wall Necropolis, a place reserved for heroes of the Soviet Union, but his death cast a long shadow over the Soviet space program. The official investigation blamed the parachute failure, but many whispered of deeper, more sinister truths. Had Komarov been sent on a suicide mission? A pawn sacrificed in the name of political expediency? The questions lingered, unanswered. The truth, buried beneath layers of secrecy and propaganda, remained elusive. Vladimir Komarov's tragic fate served as a stark reminder of the human cost of the space race. Section 10, Echoes in the Void. Vladimir Komarov's story is a cautionary tale, a reminder of the dangers of unchecked ambition and the human cost of political pressure. It is a story of courage and sacrifice, of a man who faced his fate with unwavering bravery. His name, forever etched in the stars, serves as a reminder of the sacrifices made in the pursuit of knowledge and the unforgiving nature of space. His story is a testament to the human spirit, a spirit that dares to dream of reaching for the stars, even in the face of unimaginable danger. And so, the next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember Vladimir Komarov. Remember his sacrifice. Remember his courage. And remember the countless others who have risked their lives in the pursuit of space exploration.